In this video, I'm going to talk about my favorite defense for Gun Bunch. I'm also going to share with you a little secret that I don't think a whole lot of people know about the nickel triple formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button. I upload multiple videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also want to let you know that if you're wanting to learn more about the nickel triple, today we're talking about the nickel triple. It's in the Chicago Bears defense playbook. If you want to learn more about this defense, um, I have my, a a massive massive ebook on it in my patreon membership and we're actually updating it this week for you guys as well with some new concepts so if you want to learn all of that you're not only going to get access to the nickel triple ebook but by joining the patreon you get access to all 14 of the offensive and defensive guides that i've released so far this season as well as any guides that i release while your subscription is active so basically as long as you're joining a member of the patreon you get everything all my tips all my breakdowns everything uh, all of my ebooks. So if you want to get access to that, there's a link in the description below where you can get that. And again, it's just 10 bucks a month and you can cancel whenever you would like to. Now, what I wanted to talk about today is a kind of a continuation of a concept that I talked about a couple of weeks ago uh, here on the channel. And that is how you can uh, basically get a glitchy, uh, a glitchy two man pass rush. And the way that you do it uh, is basically this. So I'm just going to come out of nickel 335 will to give an illustration and then we're going to talk about why. So um, what I want to show you is let's say for example that I decide that I'm going to drop both of these guys in zones. Um, I want you and I'm just going to snap the ball and what you're going to notice here is it's going to take a long time for them to shed. It's probably going to take at least you know 10, 7 to 10, maybe 12 seconds and gives me plenty of time for routes to, routes to bounce, basically fluke to happen. And it doesn't really put the quarterback on a timer. One of the things that is really, really valuable about blitzing is not just the fact that you oftentimes can get pressure, but the fact that you can put the quarterback on a timer. They don't have all time. Their routes that are deeper down the field, don't, they don't have time to get open because you're pressure. Well, I'm going to show you in this video that we can actually do that from the nickel triple pretty consistently with a special trick. Now, I'm gonna come back out and I wanna show you this other concept. This is the concept I talked about on the channel. And it's basically, all we're gonna do is we're gonna blitz our user, and then we're going to drop one of our defensive tackles into a spy, drop the other one into a bluff blitz. And because of the bluff blitz, uh, the game actually thinks that there's four man rushing the passer, even though there's only technically two. And what you're gonna see is we're gonna get a lot faster sheds, our abilities are going to get to the quarterback way better. And as you can see, we're able to get some pressure. Okay. Now, I want to show you how to take that concept from, you know, a nice concept to an absolutely incredible concept out of the nickel triple. Um, the nickel triple has, in my opinion, the best stock alignment in the game. One of the things that is so good about this formation is how it aligns formation to formation, how it can adapt. I love that about this 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 formation. So uh, you can actually do this out of several different cover. You can do it out of any play, really. Uh, I'm going to show it out of a couple different defenses um, that I want to talk about. Mainly these two here, cover three, cover six, and then the cover one LB blitz. Okay, and we're just going to come out in uh, the cover six now. For the purpose of the video, Chandler Jones does have edge threat, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just put somebody else out there. I'm going to put this golden guy out there. Uh, just just because I, I'm, I'm gonna put Marcus Gold out there just because um, I want you to see the concept more so than just the ability Okay, so uh, we're just gonna come out in uh, Bunch trail whatever it, it, it doesn't matter um, Actually, you know what we're gonna come out of mesh post, uh, but anyways We'll start out with cover three Okay, so how this if you take a look at the unlock if I just show my play art I want you to look at the alignment of the guys rushing Notice where they are at in reference to the tackles. They're significantly outside. They're almost, I mean, you could make an argument that if this was 3-3-5 wide, for example, it's kind of like they're outside linebackers, right? In, in, the, in the core of how the formation aligns. And they get these really good sharp angles at the quarterback. And I'll show you. I'm just going to snap the ball. And I want you to watch. You see how they get upfield really fast. They get their sheds and they go. So that's a great concept, right? But what we can do is take this to the next level because all we have to do from our cover three, for example, is simply take this uh, nose tackle and we're going to put him on a QB spy. And then we're going to put JJ Watt, the right of screen DT, 
on a bluff blitz and we're going to blitz our user so it looks like this now i want you to watch how how uh, these animations work at the snap of the ball what you're going to see is these guys will come in pretty much within about three to five seconds like they're basically going to have just enough time to make a read and then they're going to shed but i want to show you something else and that is a crash if i crash my line out notice that it doesn't affect this guy's blitz angle but it does affect this guy okay and it, i mean it affects everybody except for this guy right here golden okay the reason that's important is because we know that when you crash the line out it gives you better blitz animations so we're still getting the better blitz animation from the crash line out but now we only have one side being affected so again, we're gonna just drop these guys off into coverage. I'm gonna stand kind of opposite of the running back. It's just my rule of thumb because uh, it's the same place I would stand if I was blitzing. And what you're gonna see here is look how far upfield they get and they get their sheds and they go. Now, when we can we can combine this with match coverage or really any coverage for that matter. So if I wanted to run some match, I go to cover six. And what we're going to do is we're going to blitz our three rec hook. So you see here Wiggins, we're going to blitz him. We're going to bluff blitz our defensive tackle on the, on the, to the three wide receivers. So in this case, it would be JJ Watt. And then we're going to QB spy. And so you see here, now we have our match coverage basically intact. And we also have these really glitchy sheds that we're going to be able to get. Now, what I like to do is take the vert hook and man him up on the tight end just to help a little bit with the coverage. But what you're going to see is this can create one of the better coverages in the game. And as you see, they get these edge rush animations that really, I think, are much better than any other formation. Now, I have uh, used this concept kind of sparingly, to be honest with you, uh, in Mutt. But what I found is occasionally you will get this defensive end on the right to come in completely free doesn't happen every time but he will come in free probably once per drive and then you're also going to have the glitchy sheds like i said here we're getting a little tripped up they're getting a little bit more time than normal it might be because of the resistance being built to the line of scrimmage but the bottom line is you can really kind of build around this i really think you can and you you still have all of the really incredible blitzes uh, in this formation right you still have every single thing that we can do from a blitzing perspective but you mix in this coverage and i'm telling you right now you're going to have one of the best coverages you're going to have one of the best defenses uh in this game especially pass defenses because the reality is you're going to put them on a timer they're going to have probably three to five seconds to throw obviously my guys are probably like i said a little bit of resistance problems right now uh but but the reality is you're going to get some sheds and then once they start trying to throw things like um once they, you know, once they start trying to force things because they, they think that they have to, maybe they're scared of your pressure or whatever, and they try to force something like a corner route or some of the more popular concepts, this cover six really shuts down a lot of the things that people like to do. Now, not only does it do that, but I said this formation has the best alignment of any formation in the game. What if they flip their bunch? Well, all we have to do as a defense, notice that when we flip our, when we flip our uh, play, um, it, it's really not that big of a difference, right? It just, they, they change really quick and then you still get these same animations and you're able to kind of go and set your play up and now you're in your coverage. And as you can see, these sheds and these guys will just go to work and you're gonna, and these are these are like terrible pass rushers, by the way. These aren't overloaded. These are like, Isaiah Simmons is not a great pass rusher in regs. Marcus Golden's a 78 overall. You put good players in there. I have Micah Parsons, DeMarcus Ware. The faster the speed, the faster the acceleration, the better the pass rush. Combine that together, you're going to get some crazy sheds with this defense. So I just wanted to put this out there for those of you that want to try it out. If you want to learn more about the Nickel Triple, join the Patreon. I can't stress enough how important the Patreon is because it gives me the platform to talk about things that I can't publicly talk about on YouTube just because of the types of concepts they are and just because of how, how game-breaking they really are. So if you want to learn a little bit more about this incredible defense, I'd encourage you to get the Patreons. All of our eBooks are in there. You're not just going to get the triple. You're going to get everything. We've got some incredible concepts um, in that in that eBook defensively. I think you're going to start playing some pretty good defense if you uh, check out that Patreon. And then again, we've got a great uh, trip tight end eBook in there. We've got a good bunch stuff, bunch tight end. We've got a spread air raid style offense, and we're working on a compression offense right now. So 
you know, a lot of stuff in there for you to get better. But the triple is, it, it, it's really good. It, it, it's something that I think you need to take a look at. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn everything I know about the nickel triple, head on down to the description and join the Patreon for just $10 a month. You're going to get access to everything, all the eBooks, and uh, I think it's well worth it for you. Thanks for watching. And if you are interested in joining the Patreon, head on down to the description and click that link.